Okay, moving on now to Daily Sun. Suspended Minister Peter Edu whisked away in security truck. EFCC grills detains ex humanitarian um, affairs minister over alleged 37 billion naira misappropriation. FG wrecking Nigeria's economy with huge debt, says Peter Obi. Abia North APC support groups hail Kalu. <coughs> Violation of rights, court awards immediately 100 million naira damages against federal government. FG, some state implementing grand plot against Igbo, says Bianca Ojuku. UBA surpasses 1 trillion naira market capitalization mark amidst impressive financial recognitions. Rivers court reserves judgment in speaker's suit against Fubara and National Assembly. Okay, which story? Yes, yeah, so we have the former CBN governor, Godwin Mifili, had um, he said he had filed a suit in a fundamental human, a fundamental human rights suit yeah, um, against his prolonged detention in custody um, of the DSS. So he had asked the court to order the respondents, who are the federal government, the AGF, Attorney General of the Federation, EFCC, and its chairman, um, he asked the court to order them to pay him one billion naira in damages and to restrain them from further arresting and detaining him. Um, as we know, he was arrested since June 10th and uh, shortly after his suspension. So the High Court of the, of F, of the federal, um, federal Capital Territory has ordered EFCC to pay him 100 million naira for his prolonged detention um, without trial as it's a flagrant violation of his fundamental human rights. Um, I, in another paper, I saw that EFCC said that they were going to appeal that. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> take uh, the story of um, Mr. Obi playing the role of uh, opposition, which is what is required for our democracy to be strengthened, yeah. has said that um, um, he has crazed the alarm, said the alarm that um, increasing indebtedness of Nigeria, saying that the federal government is wrecking the economy of the country by, through the massive borrowing. According to him, CBN has flagrantly violated um, the CBN Act. <clears throat> and, that, and that indifference to the illegality of the excessive ways and means of borrowing the National Assembly also had um, led the president to approve the 7.3 trillion naira securitization of the existing ways and means facility just before um, considering the 2024 budget proposals. He was saying that um, the CBN is, is the underwriter. It needs to be pointed out that the idea of securitization of, of the illegal borrowings from CBN and transferring the same into our debt stock portends danger to future of our economy. Yes, so I have a sexual harassment story. Uh, the Federal High Court yesterday ordered that Professor Cyril Ndifon, uh, the suspended dean of faculty of law, University of Calabar, as UNICAL, charged with sexual harassment, be remanded in Kujie prison. He was being prosecuted by the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other uh, Offenses Commission, that's the ICPC, before Justice James Omotoshaw, and um, though he pleaded not guilty to the four-count charge. I want to, um, you know, give out the um, charges here. So uh, the first one, in count one, he was alleged to have, between June and September 2023, used this office and position to gratify himself by soliciting nude photographs and videos from a 200-level diploma female student of the university through WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp chat on his telephone number. They mentioned the number there. Count two, he was alleged to have corruptedly requested for nude photographs and videos from a 400-level female student mm. of the Faculty of Law with the plan of changing her project supervisor to himself mm. in order to guarantee favorable grades for her. <laughs> uh, count three, he was alleged to have corruptedly requested to see photographs of a 16-year-old prospective post a UTME female student as an inducement to consider her for admission into the faculty of law. And counts four, they accuse him of causing a female student to send pornographic, indecent and obscene photographs of herself to him through WhatsApp chats. You know, these are the four counts mm. charges, but they have reminded him saying no bail for now. They are mm. still going to be looking into the cases. <laughs> okay, <Well>. Vanguard. <clears throat> Same story, uh, 585 millionaire graft suspended better edu. Denied access to Tinubu. You have stories inside, or should we move on? We yeah. Nigerian uh, Tribune. You have a story? Okay, still in Tribune. Beta Edu may face EFCC today. Tinubu dismisses Irukera and Oko. Alleged certificate scandal. Group Ayedatiwa trade words in Ondo. Over 4,900 candidates in contest for 384 seats in Oyo local government elections. Doni Okupe resigns from Labour Party. 
Mm. Tinubu must dismantle emerging cabal within his presidency, says Ndume. Plato killings, religious leaders, residents, stage peace walk, present 10 point um, demand to governor. Court fines federal government 100 million naira for violating Emile rights. Tinubu's government flouting CBN Act on ways and means, says Peter O.B., and UBS surpasses a trillion naira market capitalization mark. Okay, which story? I have the picture story. Um, okay. So thousands of residents on Monday that's in Plateau State um, staged a peace walk in Joss. Um, and this is, as we know, as a result of all the killings that happened over the Christmas period. And um, so it was an interdenominational um, Walk. walk, yes. Everybody was there, thousands and thousands of people dressed in black. Mm. And um, it was led by uh, Reverend Stephen Babapanya, who is also the president of Equa Evangelical Church um, of Winning All. He, so they, had a, they, they walked all the way to the governor's house, government house, and mm. they had a 10-point demand. But among a few of them, you know, they had talked about um, the government doing all that it can to bring these killings to a halt, where, um, you know, because of military activities or militia and bandits, they come, they kill people in their land and send them off. And then we see this. Uh, people who have carried out these killings now take over They're the land. Right. Yes, mm. so there has to be a, a process. We've seen these videos. Yeah. Good. So All there has right. to be a process where you bring the people back into their land. This has happened for too long and it needs to stop. And then they also talked about the fact that the military has agreed that they cannot be everywhere at the same time because they're doing so many other, yeah. there are so many other operations. And so um, communities should have the right to be able to defend themselves. And there are this there are these allegations out there that some locals have been arrested because they were found with cutlasses and machetes, and these are the implements that they use to defend, defend themselves, themselves when this mm -hmm. happened. So those people should be released immediately because this was in self-defense. And, you know, a few other things. The governor received them and thanked them that, you know, in spite of all that has happened, they haven't lost their humanity. He says he has confidence in the mm -hmm. president because he talked to the president and he feels the president really wants to work on this. And uh, he was there when he gave orders to the security head. So very soon we are likely to see a difference in Plateau State. Amen. We are security. Yeah, just is. looking at the pictures, yeah. it's so painful. Mm. Yeah. I didn't even see the picture. I, I just read the story. Just seeing that everybody, all the religious groups, all interdenomination, yeah. yeah. come together. together and and it's, I, it's, I just it's think it's so sad because yeah. the rumors that we, we have been seeing or the what Ooh, people heard. have been, who, who say this is because of the mineral resources mm. that are there, yeah. that they are displacing these people. The just government really, really that. needs to look into it and yeah. save these people. Even yeah. if it is to relocate them, and then the government takes over the place, the resources mm -hmm. for Nigeria. He said, "But for individuals to be doing it, let us come on. Let, let us uh, shine our eye." All right. Yeah. I have another, yeah. In have, Vanguard. Uh, another, Tribune. Tribune. Yes. I have another story. So the senator representing Borono South and chief whip of the Senate, Mohammed Ali Ndume, raised an alarm over what he called an emerging cabal in the administration of the president, Bola um, you know, um, administration. And he said that, um, you know, first of all, he commended the president for suspending the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Better Edu, for proper investigation of what transpired within the financial uh, ministry at the time. And he says that um, she definitely did not act alone but was in connivance with certain individuals who are already forming a cartel, you know, in Tinubu's presidency. And if these cabals are not curtailed, they could destabilize Tinubu's administration <clears throat> and what he's planning. So that this um, suspension is going to be sending a strong signal to them that their principal will not tolerate any form of cabal in his administration, you know, just to make sure that this does not go on. And they must investigate to find the other people that she connived with. She definitely did not work in isolation. And also, there are other cases that we've not put a spotlight on that would also have happened this way. And so the administration needs to do proper investigation, punishment method where necessary to ensure that people don't take advantage of right. you know him being the president and being a good person. And so um, it was just commending him. I also talking about insecurity as a whole, yeah. All right, final paper, I'll just read the headlines of The Guardian. EFCC quizzes embattled Edu, others as anti-graft mm. opera heightened. Obi deplores huge borrowing profligate um, spending on luxury. Reps blames 
a Greek ministry for delay in sharing Tinubu's palliative. NEC cancels Disco's license over 10 billion naira debt, appoints sole administrator. And subscribers suffer service disruption over 70 billion naira interconnect debt. I thought it was, there, but they gave us a yellow, so we have an idea which subscriber. Which subscribers are talking about? <laughs> oh, it's UBA, they gave us a clue. Ex, they gave us a clue. <laughs> UBX is like trillion naira market <laughs> capitalization <laughs> mark. And security guard bags life imprisonment over sexual assault. Okay, that's all we can take on front page review when we come back more to our hot topic of today stay with us we'll be right back stay tuned your view will be right back